Hello and welcome. In this short video, we'll quickly explore the potential matches view in the Relteo UI. This is my window into resolving duplicates associated with a particular profile. Once I'm in a profile view, I can now access the potential matches associated with a particular profile. There's one of two ways that I can do this. The first option is accessing it on the right side. Clicking on see all will take me to the view that will allow me to start resolving this duplicate. Alternatively, I can also take action directly from this view. Note, I could click merge or specify not a match right here if I was confident enough that these were in fact the same two individuals. The other option is coming to the left side, down the icons on the left, Notice the potential matches icon right here. Clicking on this will launch a separate screen, which will now allow me to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these duplicates. I am now in the potential matches view. This view is arranged in a manner to make it easy for an end user to perform a side-by-side -side comparison of the possible duplicates. In the vertical orientation are all the attributes making up this particular profile. Horizontally, we can see all the possible duplicates. To preserve screen real estate, we'll only represent two possible duplicates on the screen. And down the list on the right side, if there were more duplicates, we would see those, allowing a user to quickly resolve multiple duplicates. I can also enable transitive matching if I want to. Transitive matching is very simply if record A matches to record B and record B matches to C, well then therefore there's a possible match between A and C. By enabling this checkbox, we'll look for any of those transitive matches. And notice in this scenario now, a second match has appeared. This only occurs in those scenarios where A is matched to B, B is matched to C, therefore there's a match between A and C, as we can see here. As an end user, I can now look at the rules that have been used. For transitive matches, I can see which record it matched through and what those particular rules were. And now, very simply, I'm either going to make a decision as to yes, these are the same, so merge them, or no, they're not the same, therefore set them as not a match. Once I make this decision of not a match, and similarly, when I make a decision of merge, these records are either now become a single instance or they're no longer associated with potential matches. In my case, I can now decide, yes, I'm going to merge these two because a cursory evaluation looked at name, address, email information, etc. I can determine that these are in fact the same. So I'm going to say, yes, you can merge these. This action now takes two records and produces a single profile out of these based on the survivorship rules in place. And now, because there was a second duplicate, I can now resolve this one too, deciding yes or no. In my case, I'm again going to say yes, these are the same. So very quickly as an end user, I can review possible duplicates and make the decision as to whether we have duplicates or not. If for some reason I'm not seeing duplicates here, and I believe there should be, I can come over to the Find menu on the right side. Very simply type in some information, and Reltio will return some results. Now I can place these possible duplicates into the screen for me to conduct a side-by-side -side review. Note. The match rules themselves haven't identified these. This is me as the end user quickly doing a search, bringing those into my view in order to decide, are these the same? In other words, I want to merge them or no, they're not. Going back to the profile view now, we now see a very different view than we had before. Notice the order trail on the right side that kept track of the actions that we performed. This is showing three lines, which essentially means there's three records that have slowly become a single instance in Reltio 
through the combination of these merge processes that we just executed. You'll also notice that there's no potential match view showing up here. That's because there are no more potential matches associated with this individual profile. I hope you enjoyed this short video and I hope you enjoy your use of the potential matches view in your Reltio Identity 360. In order to sign up for your free instance of Reltio Identity 360, please go to reltio.com slash Reltio Identity 360 free tier request.